Hi, I'm Nikki from Newcastle University's Writing Development Centre. When people think about teaching at university, the traditional lecture and seminar are often the first things that come to mind. Your course may include these and other forms of teaching, but whatever the format, university teaching has two main purposes. To introduce you to new knowledge, and to let you interact and work with that knowledge to learn it in greater depth. Let's look first at teaching that primarily offers new information and what role it might have in your learning. It might be an hour's lecture in a lecture hall, but could also be an online lecture, a recording of a lecture, or a purpose-made video. And there might also be handouts, slides, or canvas pages to read. Now there's so much to learn in your degree, more than can be covered in a lecture, video, or resource. What these teaching formats are intended to do though, is offer a starting point and overview to help you get familiar with a new topic and identify the key areas and ideas which are the foundation for the rest of your learning. In a lecture or similar format, your lecturer might be giving you wider context, noting key facts or concepts, explaining ideas, illustrating them with examples, modeling a process, showing you new ways to think about a topic, or just inspiring you. So it's not all just information to write down, but different ways of helping you understand that information. And learning something is more than just being told it. So to get the most out of this kind of teaching, you'll need to engage with it actively. So yes, this often means taking your own notes, but it doesn't mean trying to write down everything. Even traditional lectures are often recorded and come with slides, so you don't need to record everything yourself. And writing everything down doesn't necessarily mean you're actively taking it in any way. Effective note making and teaching means making decisions about what to note down and just as importantly what not to note down and also how to express it in your own words so you're processing the information rather than just letting it wash over you or becoming a kind of human photocopier. And your lecturer might also ask you questions to encourage you to think actively about the content and later on it will be helpful to review your notes, refresh your memory, add to them and use them as a springboard for your own reading. Now with all the lectures, videos and other resources, there's going to be a lot of new knowledge to take in. So how do you process it and make sense of it all? Well that's where the other kinds of teaching you'll encounter at university come in. These are more practical and interactive forms of teaching that often involve working with other students either in person or online. What form this takes will differ depending on what school you're in. But the key thing is that you get to discuss and develop your ideas, practice and experiment with new approaches, and test out your learning with other students. And don't worry, you're not expected to get everything right first time. You can learn a lot from making mistakes. And this is actually your chance to do just that. So to get the most out of these practical learning opportunities, it's important to get involved, participate, and just embrace the benefits of trying things out. This may feel daunting at first, but Participation can take lots of different forms. So you might be introducing a topic, posing questions or offering suggestions, or you might be helping other students refine and develop their ideas, offering additional insights they've not thought of or weighing up different arguments. And remember, at this level of study, there's usually more than one possible right answer to a question or several valid approaches to choose from or more than one way that things might not go as planned. So these more interactive teaching formats are a chance to explore ideas and approaches that might not have occurred to you, solve problems and experiment together with other students, practice skills and reflect on how it worked. Coming across different perspectives really helps creative thinking, so learning to bring together and negotiate different perspectives and different ways of thinking is a great way of gaining a richer understanding of your subject, as well as developing into personal skills which will really help you throughout your life. So to recap, the two roles of teaching you can expect at university are introducing new knowledge and giving you the chance to work with that knowledge. Both of these roles work together to help you gain a deeper understanding of your subject. So do make the most of the opportunities they offer by actively engaging with both of these types of teaching.